the map after dropping a big game one. It has been impressive for United from here on out. Gibraltar, a map that we rarely saw at the CWL Dallas Open. TK probably played it more than anybody else because of just how much they banned on out London docks. Off the break, though, it is Echo Fox up 26 to 3. United don't control the spawns for the next hill. And again, because of the balance changes that have come in, the STG now being used. We just saw the FG brought out for a brief moment on the side of United. All sorts of ARs in play currently in, in Call of Duty World War II. What's the big difference maybe between like the bar and STG for you? Because we've seen a, a fair oh. amount of both, a little bit more bar heavy, but we've, we've seen a bit of both. I think the, the, the thing still with the bar that just makes it so lethal is that three bullet kill, right? Where up close, it is just something where when you die to a bar at times and you're an SMG player, you go, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, three shots. I'm that bar player. Yes, exactly. You've done that for months. Uh, on the side of the SCG, though, it, it, they think, you know, for some people, pros think the SCG excels more in a land setting. You know, we talk about how SMGs for a lot of people get better in a land setting. The SCG, a similar mindset for some of these pro players. Don't be surprised to see it used throughout the weekend just as much as the bar. Um. Right now, holding courtyard is the United, but the last man standing really to make a play is silly. He spawns them in the back though, but look at Pristini all the way across the map. Let's get back to his POV. Just to show <laughs> how early he's returning. Let's show he's chilling. POV. He's, he's chilling. But this could be huge. If they hit the front and are able to get the spawn, but you can see how deep that number six is as well. That's Aqua kind of set up in that turret. He's gonna need to rely on his teammates finally. They know someone's here. back here. Yeah, there we go. There, you go. there we go. Kids, look at them. Look at the spawn out there. You see number seven. That's Vicento spawning the whole way out. Everybody now spawning. Have to surge across. Try to hit cave and make a play. Early rotation for Pristini. He might only be two and four, but that might rack up 60 seconds here for his team. Exactly. Uh, where stats aren't everything. That's a perfect example, Maven. I'm happy you brought that up. He's got seven engagements. That is a third of what one of his teammates has. But you also add in that. <laughs> The reason why they have the lead now is because of him rotating early and locking down that back position. This is going to be a full 60. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just because of that one play, and you saw everybody from Echo Fox spawning out. Nice job by Pristini. And then it's when you talk about the slaying side of it, silly the one going off. How close is he to streaks? Can we check, uh, check him out for a second? Okay, so very, very close. He's he he going to opening time at the hard point. Yep, he's going to try to pick up this entry time. He's kind of baiting out Pristini here for a second. When it gets down to like. Two. I'd expect him to run forward. Not actually. He should know it. He should know it's clear. There you Clay, go. Clay calling on the streak. He knows it's wide open. Now he gets the streaks behind it. Clay invests some streaks to earn some streaks for Silly. Uh oh. Great teamwork there for United. The push is going to come in. Saints and Vicento working together on the break. Pristini tries to follow it up, but that that's like what the Seco Fox team is capable of sometimes. It seems like it's just a you're you're set up fine and dandy if you're E United, and they just fly in and gun you. Yeah, Saints somehow making that look easy as he pushes towards the hill by himself, two pieces, and breaks it. They know where Facento is exactly in turret room. He'll get cleaned up. That's four dead on Echo Fox. Is he united again? Streaks are so important in hardpoint, and especially when one of them's fighter pilot, earned for only 625 points, and many pros regarded it as the best streak, not only in the game, but up there, I think, in the talks of Call of Duty competitive history for how much use you get out of it for such a low amount of score. Well, Vicento, by flanking through there, and now the early rotation for United, you lose about, what, fr 10 free seconds, I think, you had for United that you give up there. Vicento disrupts on the flank, and they want to get set up at mid-map here. So the goal of the United throughout this is going to be able to rack up time, but also at some point you're going to have to try and push through and make a play for that next Wow! Round. Will it be Pristini that gets it done? But nice shots over the STG. Brought so much time right there. He winds up at least stopping the players from Echo Fox from getting that time for the last five, six seven now 10 seconds so nice individual play from him 16 and 5 from clay he has not looked back from that first map and this is exactly what i was talking about when you try to kind of make a, a flank through here and maybe get control of the spawns but they're still spawning in the back so not all well and good yet for clayster and company but you do pick up a couple of streaks if he gets oh second kill, you've cleared him out and look at the left side of the mini map everybody now spawning out so you get a lot of time here for e united and you flip the spawns that was textbook a combined 11 streak between Clayster and Pristini. A one minute lead for e United. Clayster is not stopping on a nine streak. Now 19 and five. He might double up on some of these score streaks. <laughs> it's just an unbelievable run. And not only does he get the streaks, but he also gets the spawns. It was just a really, really good stretch of gameplay oh, there gosh. from Clayster. As he has not died in quite some time. They Clay, have, still they, gunning. They have five streaks available. Two from Bersini, three from Clay, a combined 15 streak for the moment. Clay's still alive! 
as he just turns on Aqua right there. No gun can handle him. It had to be a nade from across the map from Saints to cut him down. And this is just a map, you know, it's very different than London Docks, you know, where maybe the, the raw gun skill can kind of carry you a little bit for Echo Fox. A lot harder to do here, you know, like you're just constantly, if you don't have spawns, it's just that you're fighting an uphill battle throughout the entire game. Yep. And United's been toying with him. This has to have been a very, very frustrating game thus far for, uh, for Echo Fox. You had a full 60 for United essentially at that, you know, that top hill that we're going back to now. You had a full 60 there multiple hills where they get the spawns early and they punish Echo Fox for not setting up for these hard points early on. Well, that's going to be one burn streak that I think may come to nothing unless the one player in cave, which is Arsides, he's got to play his life until he's got a little bit of help. He's set up just waiting for his teammates to get back to him. I mean, just the length of the rotation over when you're coming off of spawn on this hard point is brutal enough. Yep. You run, you die. You run, you die. It's such a frustrating experience. And right now, United having to deal with it. But could this be the break? Somebody's got in behind. That's going to be silly who's in the back. Is Pacento ready for it? No. They know the one more's here. They've cleaned them all out. Wow. United with the break. And if they get the rest of this time, Maven, they'll eclipse that 200 second mark. The flamethrower from Clay only gets one at that moment. And but look again, at wow. Look at, I guess, how much more calm and composed that break looks for United compared to when Echo Fox was trying to break. At times, they were flying at it one by one. There, perfect stuff from United to get through. Positive 31 is E United right now in the slang. Positive 31. Complete opposite of game one. Oh, uh, the complete opposite. They've got so many streaks still to work with here. The 200 part point mark now eclipsed for E United. Aqua's 7 and 21. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice. That's tough. That's like that's, that's like how Silly kind of started in that first game, right? Yep. But they're still much more alive in this game. I mean, here you can string together a couple of you know 45 plus second hard points. And they're gonna need to do it here. But it's still United that's racking up the time right now at our final hard point in the second rotation. Aqua trying to inch his way forward. Not going to be easy play to make with the bar. He's just going to keep getting peaked, but he gets a little bit of help over the top from Assault with the Sticky. At least there's a good uh, testing. But the flamethrower, you, <laughs> you, you keep it. So Clay just takes it back out again and gets another kill with it. It's a never-ending streak, it feels like. He's got a couple kills with it now. But you do at least avoid that 100-point club if you're Echo Fox. But you would need to have an incredible, incredible comeback. But this is a map you can do it on. Yep. Watching Assault inch his way forward, takes the gunfight, but Clay, he's been hot this map, he gets the better of him. And this is exactly one of those performances you talk about. I mean, Clay will have off maps, and then he'll have maps where he just completely and utterly dominates. Ooh, Pristini is feeling himself right now. The man is just sprinting forward, looking good. This is one of the maps that we critiqued him a lot for at the CWL Dallas Open, with how sometimes he just had abysmal games. Here, though, an exceptional map so far from him. And again, we talked about it a lot prior to the series, Maven. Echo Fox at Dallas, 0-3 in Gibraltar Hardpoint, looking like even with the team changes, even with those weeks of practice, they still suck at it. <laughs> so United are all just fired right now on all cylinders. Well, Aqua, you know, he's been known as like a, at least if you joined in the past couple of years, one of the better AR players in the game. But if you look back all the way to like AW, he was a stellar submachine gun player. They're going to need him to be that if this team's going to have a chance. He, he's running the AR, but like they need more sub pressure right now, in my opinion. Oh, look, it's happening to get it done, and he's getting just crushed. Prasini, oh, tries to blend in with the flowers. Unfortunately, Assault does see him there and cuts him down. 231 to 147. E United looking for one more break, which would secure them the victory yep. and the series. This is where the rally has to happen. You have yes. to have a perfect hold here on the second hard point and then somehow win that battle as you're getting over to the third if you're Echo Fox. But now the flood is coming in uh -oh. and you got the spawn there. All four gonna be here for United, but as one drops, he is gonna spawn out. But you've got a really big chance to make a play. Saints still just playing his life, trying to watch this cross towards the hill. He's got help now from Ladder Room. Echo Fox not going down without a fight. 231 to 158. At this point, if you're United, you, you basically just give up the rest of this time on this hill. You also don't want to feed streaks, as, as they know they've got a couple players beginning to get close to earning some. Well, someone's got to start to try and make a play across the map, too, though. You've got to have a perfect rally between these two hard points. And yes, you need to get the time. They're back in, and now here's going to come to play. This is crucial. This push across for the three players on the hard point right now for Echo Fox. I mean, they realistically have one chance. They have one chance right here. That's why they're waiting to get everyone pushed forward. It's why they're yep. giving up the yep. last five seconds of scrap time. 
84 players. Clay still has the flamethrower. He just spraying it out through Cubby. They hold for now. Clay gets one. Pristini able to pick it up, and that's all four now dropped and coming off a spawn. They're trying to push across bridge. The flood is here, but so is the setup. This is just easy pickings right now from a United. This game is done and dusted unless somehow Aqua can make the best play of the weekend so far. He gets one, tries to challenge the second. Not going to happen. 250 to 175. There it is. E United <laughs> take down Echo Fox to start off their Call of Duty World League New Orleans global open run.